Hi, I'm Mortal XP, and welcome to my Let's Play to The Wolf Among Us. Uh, I've played through this game before, uh, with Season 2 coming out very soon. I'm, I've am i been wanting to replay it anyway, so I figured I'd do it for my first Let's Play. Let's get right into it. For uh, the playthrough, I'm thinking I want to stick true to the comics, to the Fable comics, to how Big B actually behaves. So we'll see how I actually do. <laughs> Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The Fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community of the, from the mundane world. Well, five today again if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. I actually don't know when the second season is coming out. Uh, I only saw a trailer for it and then completely forgot. Uh, but it's been quite a while since I've played this, so I'm quite excited. The Wolf Among Us. I wonder if they called it that because it would have been a copyright issue to call it Fables. Maybe. Big B Wolf. Let's get into it. Tenement Building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. <laughs> Sounds as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. Like I'm being My hands are too nice. <laughs> right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Very pretty job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. I don't remember Toad Jr. in the comics. It has been a couple months since I read through it and anything. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Just stop, okay? You're drunk! Let go! No more yelling? Take a look! Uh -huh. Take a good look! You know who I am now? No, 
one's home. God damn you! No way. Whoa, whoa, now. whoa, hey, Don't... hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> All right, <bite> you. <laughs> Ouch. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Ouch. You gotta calm down. Had enough? At That's least it is a fucking challenge. <laughs> Right there, Noggin. Back off, asshole. Well, that ain't the max. Click the wrong button for a second. Fucking glutton for punishment. Fuck you. If I could, could have just kept on beating him. <laughs> Now there's the axe. Oh. I wonder what would have happened if I just let him hit me with the axe. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Hey, what did I say? I said be nice, or you wait out. Lovely. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. 
Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? Toad, you need to get off the street. You don't have your glamour. It's so difficult to Apologies choose what to pick. Car, Toad. I'm gutted for you, mate. It's a real shame. I feel like I should have refreshed myself you, on the comics. Play the old man role. <sighs> Some things are more important than your car. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Round two, let's go. Round three? Round three. I love the art style. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> Oh, man. Day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. <laughs> That's a sight to behold. <laughs> Wasn't mine anyways, but you're welcome. <laughs> that awkward sign. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Don't answer my questions. I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. He gone. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. Them dad jokes. That I love it. wasn't intentional. Sorry. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it 
be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Mm. Ah, let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. I wasn't asking. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? His lips are sealed. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Well, I did pretty all right there. Okay, if there is a difficulty option. talk over the characters so I uh, that's why I mainly stay quiet but I'm really looking forward to playing this game and really getting to the heart of it I wonder who picked up the wolf among us because I think Telltale just went under and doesn't exist anymore. So I know that another company finished the final season of The Walking Dead. Faith. Let's get into it. Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. 
promise me? Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Once again, I wasn't sure what to pick. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Bigby. Hey, you wink? Hmm, probably for the best. I actually got to know about the comic books through the game. Been a while since I got any mail. And then I ended up reading them just seventh day in a row. Over Christmas time? Well, it took me a couple months, but. Damn thing fell off again. How much longer is this gonna go on? I love how his stat is like. Standing out so much. You think the sheriff would get a permanent listing? seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Well, I promise I wouldn't say anything. Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. I love how the art style really looks like a comic book. Uh, that's something I really appreciate from that. This one will be bothered. Damn, should have cracked a window. Gone for a beer, but I guess a beer would be bad for wolves. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Don't even remember ordering that. Chinese? Probably a bad sign. Looks like a Chinese ticket. And there is Colin. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I 
I've only got the one. So yeah. It's so weird that he doesn't even own a bed. Maybe it's in another room, but at least in the game they don't show it. Got a smoke? Some reason I remember Thanks. that being a choice. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sounds about right. Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. Colin does not like me. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right, yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Right, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. No. Thanks, Big B. <laughs> it's so cheap. It's the best thing that's happened to him since leaving the farm, apparently. No 
going so knock back see what happens big B snow that is come me. with me me snow snow what sorry I'm what is it? Just uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those days. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. this girl so much for a testimony Is, she's not a Mundy right who was she I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town she was a prostitute really I never caught her real name oh yeah the woodsman he attacked her and I stepped in and he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. I'm blaming Beast, calling it. could do something like that. Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. What is I don't like that sound. <laughs> it's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I don't get squeamish or anything, but I just don't She was like placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should Let's keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea.
just leave. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. I don't know what it is. It's got a fabric. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Thanks. Sharp enough. So, who in this town wears jeans? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. <laughs> Could have at least asked. <laughs> we should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. Nope. As long like as him. King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. Don't tell him. It'll just complicate things. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. He's the mayor. Deputy mayor. The position's a joke. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. Fucker. Oh, you you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, the you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. 
any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah, she was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. But where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. <laughs> Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, that could have gone better. I told you not to tell him. I know. I probably should have listened to you. It's almost oh, like I know Crane what I'm doing. doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it... Probably belongs to him. Maybe. What was his title before deputy mayor? I don't know if that was ever covered. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Worth a try. Yes, that's right. Mm hmm. I know no, we got your invoice. Done yes. much exploring in the past. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Yes, I mean, I question. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again. I'll just keep cutting her out. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? I'll be sure to let him know. Yes. That's not a problem. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. It's a wonderful you know about the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. There you See, go. was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Show me the woodsman. 
Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. What's a minute again? I don't want to creep on her. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Let's find some fables. I'm going the wrong way. We'll start yeah, with these. Is. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Hmm. Me. And as I. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Not the friendly type, buddy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Beauty and happier days. And her man. Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Isn't Badger on the farm? Might be thinking of something Ichabod else. Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Wouldn't that be I our boss? I understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Time to dig into the lore. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Please do. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. Let's give it a shot. Is that what happened with the goose that laid What's the golden that? eggs? It Wonder. reads, Mark of the House of Brickle the bit. Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Is 
there anything? Nope. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. <laughs> what does it say? Alairairo. <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. Oh my god. She had a magic Keeping cloak made from the scared of the father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Well, we've got a couple names to look at now. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? He's quite all right with that. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Still got the ring. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? The these magic lips phrase. are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, baby. It's simply the way this has to be. I wonder if the body's gonna be Show me Faith's father, the old king. No. Uh would have been funny if... Crosses him off the suspect list. It would have been pretty funny if all of a sudden the body was just gone. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Ooh. That's a lot of What's blood. he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Someone sounds drunk. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Sorry about the car. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. 
What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever First you're ready. decision. Let's do this. The lineup is just gone. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go to... We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. Get the strong feeling there is some understaffing happening. <laughs> I know that feeling all too well. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Just keep our focus on questioning Lauren. Run out of time. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Hey, open up. It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Lawrence, you in there? Kicked on the door. That is the only logical thing to do in this situation. Okay. Hey. Hey. Might be having a nap. All right. I guess we'll the try this is past. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. It smells ripe in here. Someone's making kombucha. Oh god. We're too late. That makes two fables dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. That left a mark. Ruined his shirt. Send a bullet hole. They never really look peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. Dry. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Maybe he's just having a nap. Hey, 
Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Would someone want to kill him? Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Pull out bed. Those things never look comfortable. Son of a. Let's shoot the wall. Snow, could you uh, stand over there? Point towards Lawrence, as if you're the shooter. This is... feels strange. What are you thinking? Magic bullet. Slug should have gone over there, right behind him. Not here. Right. So the shooter stood somewhere else. Maybe. Or we don't have the whole story. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. It stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best, I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! Never even checked his pulse. What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. What are you doing here? What's going on? We Can... found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? What happened? I don't know. I... Oh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your I heart's it. actually a little more to the center. Probably hit a lung. Great. Uh, at least hurt. that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. I thought it was a bad dream. Yeah, mushrooms tend to do that to you. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by. Make sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't 
want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. Well, about that. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. It's better to just get out. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fucking Georgie. Did you kill your wife? Lawrence, I, uh... Do you...? Are you expecting anyone? We'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun. Just in case. Very inconspicuous. I almost wish they had like the uh, the mic connected. Similar to what they had in uh, Fears to Fathom episode 2. I feel like that would be great for this. No one's home. Shoot himself. Stay here. Jeez. No. What do you mean no? He was about to shoot himself. Jeez. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. You can't beat me in QTs. up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? Uh, what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? That's not how that works. You're looking for the woodsman, right? No. My employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. 
Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No. I'm D. He's dumb. Yup, right in the temple. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. It's Prince With an open wound okay? on the back of your head. Yep. <laughs> Just leave me here. What happened? Well, the one guy hit you, and then the other one downer. started kicking you. Springs of ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. We should check in on Prince Lawrence. That's what we should do. <laughs> Poor guy. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. And it's almost like I a decoration. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Are you sure there wasn't anyone here? Uh, not that I saw. <laughs> and if there was, they didn't take nothing. So, you know... <laughs> All's well it ends. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but... Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? 
the lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. I've made a deduction. He threw the lamp at the door. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a popper's apartment, Big B, with a door and all. What do you want? Suspicious. If you're gonna say something, out with it. You're being sus. That's what's happening. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Some jam. I'm sure Junior's mocked the walls up as well with the gunk those toys carry. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it. I know you're lying about but something, I'm not... and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no, there's marks here on the window, sir. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? You can be any more suspicious. Thought you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? 
You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please... Please, just bugger off. I'm gonna press Not X yet. to doubt. Not yet. No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When I say so. When I say so, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. And ain't your home what anymore. What more do you want? Toad, please. Stories have made no sense. I'm not gonna punch. Didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Aha. Uh -huh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <laughs> it would have made it a lot worse if I threatened him. <gasps> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip him down to the Johnnies before you can tell which is which. He come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. <laughs> the axe. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, Maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. Well, I knew where he went. He... I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bounce to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Let me try it on. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. So friendly. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. We'll bring a pie next time. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. 
So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I'll lead nonetheless. Plus, D and Dumb were also looking for him. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but... I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble. Afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, then go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. New York traffic, I tell you. I think it is in New York. I don't remember. Thanks I for I wish you. there was... Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. And I'm the one to serve. To have to turn to... Oh. Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. I mean, he Crane is, is the problem. one to blame here. Not you. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper. Making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. I'm more to blame than anyone. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Let's go over that. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I um, just be careful, please. The same goes for you. I will. A 
trip trap. What do you want, Sheriff? Whiskey on ice. I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Of a friendly chap. A lot of stools in this place. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? <laughs> you know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is gonna get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Paper towels in the. Well, hello there. Number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. You can always come quietly. I'm not sure you knew that was an option before. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. I don't know where much fairy tale he's from. want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Gwen. Or Holly, for that matter. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. 
big bad wolf. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. But she had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. No when one. When I showed up, you were already there. No one here. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Big B, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Big B. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Oh, you can close Big B. Please, you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? You're backing the wrong guy. If you saw what I saw last night, you'd know that. What I see is someone who wouldn't be here if I was the one needing the law for some help. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Oh, good. Oh, that's so beautiful. So pretty. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on. Should have brushed your teeth me. when you Don't had the chance. Don't worry about me. up again. Ouch. I still don't know what fairy tale is from. Is 
situation is getting a bit hairy. Enough. Tearing off the arm would have gone a little far. Whiskey. Double. The magic remedy. I suppose Shit. it's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. Oh. Ooh. Now I feel bad. Don't even think about it. Well, I guess whiskey is... Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. Whiskey is called the water of life from what I understand. Or the translation, anyways. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Well, hello there. Fuck. Just the guy I was looking for. Woody's fine. It's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Well, looks like I'm at the end of the episode. farther away afterwards. <laughs> That's rough. Well. We had something very special. Well, 
preview for the next episode. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Wait. The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. It doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. <sighs> what did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. Did you give Faith your money? Your 84.5% of players gave Faith your money. Did you tell Beast the truth about beauty? Even 59% of players lied and said you hadn't seen her. Mm. I, I kind of expected it to be the other way around. Interesting. Where did you decide to go first? You and 30.8% of players want to see Prince Lawrence before helping Toad. What happened to Prince Lawrence? You prevented Prince Lawrence's death. Yes, he was about to shoot himself. Jeez. I actually hadn't seen that before. <laughs> when it came down to the wire, you're an 87 of players made sure that Twiddle D didn't get away. Makes sense. Well, I'm going to leave the episode here. I'm excited to get back into YouTube, and uh, I'm glad that I'm starting off with this game. It's a banger. So, I'll see you all in the next episode.